Now I've completed the moulding on the top one, uh, so now I have to move on to the, the moulding at the bottom, which is all straight, so it's not as actually difficult to do. Uh, that's the first piece I've made up, and I do happen to have some spinel moulder cutters that do a similar shape, but it's not quite right. So with the cutters, I've produced that, which is this shape here. And it wants to end up like that. So that's the first shape we've got. We need to get rid of this bit here. So I've cut that off and planed it down like that and then rounded that off. Trim this up so it's just up to that shoulder. And then this piece I plane at an angle. And then that bit there is planed square and a bit taken off the top. And when that's glued back onto there it gives you that shape so that that line marries up with that so you get that shape there so it's a bit messy but it does it does get it to the shape I want it to so I've cut the small piece of moulding uh, and I've cut it in two where it needs to be and I'm just going to clean up the sides This is the one it's going to have to match, so I'll have to keep trimming it until it's right. Now this needs to be at an angle, so all I'm going to do is tip it up on its edge. It's a bit fiddly, I might have to do it the other way. Keep your fingers back so you don't take the tip off them. Also, before I go any further, it's just to sand this down a little bit because uh, it's going to be harder to sand down later. And I also want to take less of the curve out of it and make it a little shallower. So it's taking a little bit more of the bottom edge than the top. So I've got the angle right on the back of that one. I'm just going to take some off the tip of that to make the bead a bit smaller. I'm also going to square up the back of it. bottom corner is square take a bit off the back of this
so when it's flush at the back it lines up it's in the correct position it just makes it easier when it's gluing it up because um, this has still got to be trimmed anyway uh, the next step is to round this bead over before it goes on so it's still actually square so I'll just do that a little bit with the block plane just to take the corner off Uh, this is rounded off a little bit anyway. So with a bit of paper. This is on the 240 grit, so it's not a, a coarse paper that you need because you're only taking a little bit off. So it's ready to glue together. You don't want a lot of glue on it. Just make sure there's an, enough on the entire surface. Make sure the back's flush. And a bit of water just to clean off a little bit of glue that's squeezed out because you won't be able to get it out after yeah let that dry This is the last piece of the um, moulding, so I'm skimming the bottom and thinning it out a little bit. And that will go there, still needs a bit more taking off. So I'll finish the moulding and put it on. So it's a bit tricky going all the way around, getting the mitres perfect. Uh, but it's okay, obviously doors are made now and everything else that is missing. Uh, doors are a bit awkward. But... So that's the case finished now, polished. Uh, all the new bits blended in with the old. And it's come out quite well. Just needs the brass trim putting on. And that's it.